diabetes. Do you really know how it affects your body? <laughs> Diabetes mellitus, or DM for short, is a disease characterized by high blood sugar levels resulting from a defects in insulin secretion, insulin action, or both. For a comprehensive discussion, I let my group mates explain further. Normally, the level of glucose in the blood is below the pancreas. Pancreas produces important enzymes and hormones such as insulin and glucagon. Both of these hormones are responsible for maintaining normal blood glucose levels. Type 1 diabetes, also known as juvenile diabetes or insulin-dependent diabetes, it is where your immune system attacks some cells in your pancreas by mistake. It will lead to a chronic condition in which the pancreas does not produce insulin, and it usually shows up early in life. So type 2 diabetes is a disease that you get later in life. Over time, the cells on your body become resistant to the actions of insulin. This insulin resistance results in less sugar being removed from the blood. Here is an example. If you eat, your blood sugar will rise. This isn't good for your body. Insulin is then secreted to lower the sugar level. Think of an insulin as a key. It helps the sugar enter cell for it to be used as energy. The other hormone is glucagon. Let's say you haven't had breakfast, your blood sugar level will drop. An indication for this is being hungry. To combat the low blood sugar level, the body secretes glucagon to increase the blood sugar just enough to maintain the normal level. What are the signs and symptoms or what should you look out for? First, polyuria, frequent urination, polydipsia, excessive thirst, polyphagia or excessive hunger, fatigue, and weight loss. Well, there is no cure for DM, but we can manage it. How? To managing sugar levels, insulin, proper diets, and just eating lots of fruits and vegetables, proper exercise at least an hour a day. Just in case, just bring Candice with you. And don't forget to always visit your physician. Insulin is a natural occurring hormone in the body. That is why there is also artificial insulin to help with diabetes. Insulin controls high blood sugar but does not cure diabetes. Continue to use insulin even if you feel well. Do not switch to another brand or type of insulin or change the dose of any type of insulin you use without talking to your doctor. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that you loved it. Thumbs up if you like it. Subs if you loved it. And comment down below for any questions. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.